Pierce, those are the key matchups uh, for tonight's game and the opening tip controlled by the Celtics in the traveling green uniforms, the Bulls in the home whites. Pierce on the wing, there's Hassel on him defensively. Hassel did not play in the first game against the Bulls. Pierce had 14 points and had a tough night shooting in that uh, game early in the season. The follow won't go there for Joe Johnson gets a reprieve and converts. And that's what happened to the Bulls last night in Indiana. They got attacked on the board. Bulls trouble there clearing the defensive board and now they set up offensively for the first time tonight. Mercer has usually been good against his former team in the past right through the hands of Miller to belong to Boston on the turnover by Chicago. The Celtics playing with great confidence after a four game losing streak they've now won six in a row. Joe Johnson, one of three rookies on this roster. Number 31, there is Anderson. Medium range jumper, and that's what his specialty is, Red. They tried to make him a three-point shooter, the point guard spot under Rick Pitino, and it didn't work. No, he didn't have the, he didn't have the length on that shot. No. So oftentimes, uh, you see teams try to fit the square pegs into round holes, and it doesn't work. Hassel looking to deal on Pierce. Seven to go on the shot clock. Mercer gets an open look. Anderson the rebound. Celtics off to a two for four shot from the floor. On the drive, blocked down low. Brad Miller denying Pierce. Anthony off a screen by Miller. Up top, Hassel. Here's Mercer on the wing. Pfizer, double digits in each of his last six games. Miller Brad. the rebound. Big rebound by Brad Miller. Foul coming up against the Celtics. Let's take a look at some good defense on the other end here. Trenton Hassel is uh, get lost here by Paul Pierce, but as he goes up in the air, he gets a piece, and Miller gets a piece. A nice block, good defensive play. Kenny Anderson guilty of the foul, reaching in. First foul of the ball game. Two minutes gone by, first quarter. Hassel elevates for three. Kenny Anderson racing it across now for the Celtics. Bulls back quickly on defense. Anderson does not have numbers. Nice spot up right there at the elbow by Tony Batte. He has range on his jumper out to about 20 feet. And that one a 15-footer. Bulls 20 trailing 6 nothing, and Tim Floyd wants to talk it over briefly at the outset. Sometimes Bulls off to an 0 for 3 start from the floor, right? Sometimes you see the 20 second timeout kept right till the last 30 seconds of the first half. But right now, the coach wants to talk about this. He's seen some big quarters go offensively against the ball club. But uh, here in the United Center, three, three wins, four losses on the road. They haven't been able to break the scoring column and the points at home. Well, nobody's got 100 here in this building. Tim Floyd has a seat on the bench. His team off to a slow start. Both teams, again, as I mentioned, Red played last night. And oh, they had overtime, and I saw that Walker played 49 minutes. Pierce played in the neighborhood of 35 in that ball game. But they, they are two guys that are All used the, to yeah. playing night after night. Absolutely. And they are in, in the prime of their careers. Mercer looking for room. Five to go on the shot clock. Anderson got a piece of that. Four to go now for the Bulls. You know, the big difference in this team, Red, hasn't been so much on the offensive end, although they are better offensively, but it's been on the defensive end. And here's a near steal by Johnson. Pfizer beat the clock, but comes up short, and Batie prize loose the rebound. Pierce pull up three, ring it up. Paul Pierce. With his first triple of the night, he has been outstanding this season, shooting 44% from the yard. Guess what he's shooting from the field on the year? 44%. Yep. And look at the numbers for Walker, what he's doing. 37% from the field, 37 from threes. Both of them got the <laughs> dead on the number. So it doesn't matter if they move inside the yard. Hassel connecting. First field goal of the game for the Bulls comes with a little over eight and a half minutes to go in this first quarter. Celtics by seven. Pierce chased. Batie, quick ball reversal. Over to Johnson, right back to Batie off his hands and Miller retrieves. Turnover Boston. 
Anthony. Yeah. Over Tony Batty. Yeah. Knocked out of bounds, and who's it going to belong to? Apparently it's going to belong to Boston. Nobody's going to go get it. They'll give it to Boston. you got to run over like it's your ball no matter what happens. Jim O'Brien, in his <laughs> first full season on the Celtics bench, they went 24 and 24 last year after Rick Pitino resigned. Pierce on the drive baseline. Kick out Anderson from the corner. Pfizer the rebound. Most of his rebounds have been on the defensive end. Here's Mercer, penetrating. Nice look to Miller. Broken up by Pierce and a foul. First on Pierce, second on the team. Good play by Hassel, kicking it out here. You see Mercer with his hands waving right in front of the Bulls bench, and now he drives down as they come to get him. It goes to Miller, and then... Two or three of them take a swat, but Paul Pierce gets the foul, and Miller gets his first point of the night. Brad had been struggling from the field of late red. He went four for eight last night, and, of course, you'll take 50% shooting on any given night. But he's done a very good job off the boards throughout this season. He'd like to uh, average double figures and also double figures in rebounds, which would be something that nobody's done for the Bulls since Artis Gilmore was a center. I mean, at, at that position. I mean, at that position. Yes, right. Of course, how soon we forget Elton Brand. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he was a double-double man almost every night. Walker Good denied. Good block by Mercer, helping out. Here's the feed ahead oh. for Pfizer. Tough pass from Greg Anthony. Pfizer tried to fill that lane. Turnover Bulls. Second turnover of the game for Chicago. Walker looking to step away from Pfizer. This is a tough matchup for Marcus. Oh, that could have been an offensive foul. Marcus is a good matchup for him. Good body size, good quickness. Mm -hmm. And he played him well right there. Walker over three from the field to start the game. Perimeter work now with the ball. Bulls not getting anything going for the basket. Ten to go on the shot clock now. Bulls are trailing by five. Here's Pfizer. Anthony with five to go on the shot clock has to force that shot. It's short. Anderson the rebound for Boston. And Anderson lost his footing, almost lost the ball. And a timeout called quickly by the Celtics. A 20-second 20 timeout for Jim O'Brien and company. Some fancy dribbling there by uh, Kenny Anderson, but then he lost control of it and slipped. Now it's a full timeout. Now they take here. a full time, so we will step away from the United Center in Chicago. A rough start so far for the Chicago Bulls. One field goal, and we're almost halfway through the first quarter. We'll be back. Right. Uh, you, you watch them, it looks like they're standing, but they're drifting around in, in a semi zone. It looks like the Bulls have no air, nobody in that red area. And they're helping out with the zone with the team basically playing back as uh, play resumes. And a turnover by the Celtics. Bulls get it back, trailing 9 to 4. First turnover of the ball game for the Boston Celtics. You mentioned Dick Harder. Remember, Dick Harder was with the Pistons, was one of the authors of. Jordan rules. I thought that was Sam it. Smith. No, it was Dick Harder. Huh? <laughs> Sam Ghost read it. Wrote it. Huh? Yep. Ghost read it. Yeah, three, wrote it. A three-pointer by How Anthony. That, Anthony. Anthony. No. Anthony with a prey. Double figures in three straight games for him. He's off uh, with his first points of the game. 7-0. Bulls run, and they're right back in it now, trailing 9-7. Joe Johnson to Walker. Johnson, one of the three rookies, as I mentioned. He's been asked to do more earlier in his career. Johnson from the outside, and he's the guy who potentially, Red, they feel can give the Celtics some scoring in addition to Walker and Pierce. I don't know if you noticed that last play that uh, Trenton Hassel shut Paul Pierce right down on the baseline. And he usually takes guys and goes right around them for that easy one. Hassel into the lane. That was his shot there, too, and uh, ends up with Mercer in the long jump. First field goal for Ron Mercer, and the Bulls trailing again by three. Walker sets it up for Boston. I would expect both teams will uh, work the half court, much of the first half of play at least. Walker got nothing down low off Pfizer, so now he's going to go out and hang around the three-point area. 
Meanwhile, from the outside, Penny Anderson connecting. Anderson with four. Again, the Celtics technical on the bench. I don't think it was necessarily on Tim Floyd. No, it, it was on somebody on the bench. I don't know his name. He says it must be Phil Johnson. If he doesn't know his name, because you know Bill Cartwright's name. I don't know his name, he said, but boy, it takes a lot of rabbit ears to hear a little bit of something off the bench with sure this does. crowd here wailing away. But uh, it's Phil Johnson, he has uh, the game plan for the Bulls for tonight's game against the Celtics. Now Tim goes over and talks to Hugh Holland. Maybe he's asking him the same thing. Do you have rabbit ears, Hugh? I mean. <laughs> Well, I said at one time during the game, I said, you belong at top of a TV set. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get teed up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there were some uh, great personalities back when you were coaching in the late 60s, early oh. 70s. As officials, I mean, Mendy Rudolph, among others. Pies are going to work. To the right hand, left it short, walked to make that uh, Miller the rebound, and Bettine knocked him away. And foul coming up with Tony Bettine. He picks the foul up, and that's the first time Bulls did get the ball down low like that. Here's Vitaly Potapenko, and uh, let's see who's leaving here. Johnson, Anderson, and Bati. Of course, the substitution is that last night, overtime, yep. travel. Both teams will go to the bench early and often here. I don't think you'll see a lot of fast-breaking in the first three quarters of this game. Anthony hits the runner. they got to remember, the Bulls are playing their fourth game in five nights. Yep. This is the end of it. Walker sets it up. Bulls are trailing by four. Pierce on the drive. Boy, that quick move piece. off the baseline. Yeah, but you see the piece that, yep. uh, that Hassel got on him again. Hassel's going to make that kid work. There's no doubt about that. Hassel on the other end. Pfizer, the offensive rebound. No, but a foul. Thought he was going to get the bucket and the foul. The foul is on uh, Williams. Eric Williams, his first. Shot missed. Bulls go to the board on this play, and Anthony got a little piece of it, but Pfizer does all the, the hard work taking it back, so he gets two free throws attempts here. He's trying to break into, into the scoring column. As I said earlier, double figures in six straight games for Mark. He's averaging 14 points a game over that span. And has earned starts in each of the past two games now, almost, last night and tonight. Almost five rebounds a game, so he trades Oakley's uh, seven or eight. But you get more scoring. You get more scoring, and when he plays a little more time, his rebounds go up, too. So the Celtics, as Red pointed out, made several changes, including Milton Palacio, Antoine Walker on the floor, along with Eric Williams, Vitaly Potapenko, and Paul Pierce. Into the lane, Williams put the scoop off the glass. That was easy. He walked in looking to give the ball to somebody, and it opened up, and he was able to lay it up off the glass. Gave it up to the glass, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Three and a half to go, first quarter. Hassel off a screen by Pfizer. A lot of error under that ball, and didn't have much rotation in it. Walker gives up the three. Palacio, and they'll give him that shot of the arc. Looks to take Miller off the drive. Walker, 4-3, straight out. Antoine Walker with the tray. First basket of the night by Walker. Walker shoots at 37% from the arc. Boston by eight once again. Hassel backing Pierce. Pfizer out front. Walker running at him. Pierce the rebound. Walker step back for three. Ring that. Oh, he's taking two shots. He's got six points. Wow. And there is no fear. No, no. Of him making a pass on a play like that. Last season, he led the league in three-point field goal attempts. This year, he's leading the league in shots attempted. Mercer. Celtics leading by their biggest advantage, 11 points. Pfizer. Clears wide open. Too open as he tried to beat the clock. Miller working the board for two. Brad Miller now with four. Celtics by nine. Coming up on two minutes to go, first quarter. It's good to have you with us on a Saturday night from Chicago. 
This is Pierce. But top and go down low. Enon Miller. Rebound cleared finally by Mercer. Trenton Hassel left alone at the arc for the most part. Here's Mercer. Hassel dealing baseline. Kicks it to Anthony. Get it up. Time winding down. Mercer. Get, in. Get it up and in. Oh, Mercer with four points. And the Bulls back to within seven. Inside a minute 30 to go. First quarter. Well, so far they haven't let a runaway first quarter. Yeah. The, the Bulls have been giving up 30 points to the opposition regularly in the first quarter of their games in the past week and a half. Foul coming up here. It's Greg Anthony. And he picks up his first. Minute 17 to go, first quarter. We've got a break. We'll be back. Boston by seven. All right, Johnny, you mentioned Chicago and Antoine Walker is not bashful. Right. Not even at the arc is he bashful. No. He's uh, He's got two shots. He's taken two shots in the game here tonight. And both of them are real quick to the nine. Here's a step back behind the line, let it fly. He's got six points. All right, now Antoine Walker is 59 of 159 out of the arc. He has made more and attempted more three-point shots than the entire Bulls team so far this season. The Bulls are 37 of 149. How about this? They're four for four from three-point lane. Without that, they're five for 13 in the game, and Bulls are sitting right next to them. <laughs> Bulls started out one of seven from the field. They are five of ten since. And they rule the foul to be a flagrant foul on Greg Anthony prior to the timeout. So Williams will shoot at the free throw line, and then the Celtics will get it on the side. <laughs> Eric Williams, down his fifth season out of Providence, played 25 minutes last night, 17 points on 5 of 10 from the field against Phoenix. Bulls fans, here's your chance to enjoy a great time out with friends and to see a sold-out Wizards game of the world champion Lakers for free. For selected dates, simply purchase a group of 25 or more. You'll get two free tickets to the Wizards or Lakers to plan your group out of. Call the Bulls at 312-455-4000. Well, as my old friend Stinky Fryer would say, early ripe, early rotten. He misses both of them, so that mustn't have been a flake. Must not. Walker lobbing Pierce off the glass. Bad pass. Hassel collects. And now here is Anthony on the run. Mercer, a little stop and go on Walker. Picked up on a switch by Walker. Meanwhile, foul coming up on the top and go as he was pushing off down low. Let's pause for station identification. This is WGN Superstation. Wayne Larrabee, Johnny Red Kerr back at the United Center in Chicago tonight. Bulls taking on the Celtics, trying to snap Boston's six-game winning streak. Coach Tim Floyd working the bench for the Bulls. A busy week and a busy week for Coach Floyd indeed. That was the fifth team foul, so two free throws, and now Charles Oakley takes the warm-up jersey off. Hey, Harry Potter fans, on December 22nd, when the Bulls host the Minnesota Timberwolves, while supplies last all fans. Age 14 and under, receive one of the holiday's hottest gifts, a Harry Potter sorting hat Lego set. Compliments of Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Illinois. For tickets, call 1-800-4-NBA-TICKS or visit Bulls.com. He made them both at the line to Brad Miller. Harry Potter sorting hat Lego set. Yes. You've got to know a you little know bit about, about Harry Potter. Bulls on a 6-0 run. <laughs> I got to see that movie, Red. I'm, I'm going to see it. You should. Williams inside. Knocked out of bounds by Mercer to belong to Boston. Seems Under like a minute to go. Everybody else has seen it except yes, you. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Is it is it up in Green Bay yet? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. Pulls back the other way. Mercer. Rings in and out. Walker the rebound. Boston on the run. Half a minute to go. First quarter. Walker picked up by Oakley now. And meanwhile, Mercer on a foul down low, trying to defend against a little taller Eric Williams. Should be penalty situation. Yep. Only because both fouls came in under the last two minutes. minutes. Yep. It's only the second foul on the bowl. So Eric Williams heads to the free throw line. Here. 
Just missed two, make it three in a row. All right, Eric Williams came in. Shooting at 77.5% from the free throw line. Fred Hoiberg is in for the first time tonight, giving Ron Mercer a break. Williams makes one out of two on this trip to the line. Boston leading 24-18. Bulls would take one final shot here, you would think, in this quarter. Three-second difference, shot clock to game clock. Oakley sets the screen. Anthony goes the other way. Hassel on the wing. They've got Miller down low against Potapenko. Help came from Palacio. Tough shot by Somebody Miller. Somebody touched it on the ring. It's going to be maybe offensive basket interference. Yep. Take a look at this. Miller gets the ball up, and you'll see a hand come up on the ring. Yeah, there Charles it is. Oakley touches it there. Meanwhile, Celtics one last chance. Walker fire. for three in the hole. Antoine Walker with three trays in this first quarter. The inbound pass stolen. And the Celtics with Walker connecting on three from the arc late in the first quarter. Accelerates the Celtics into a 27-18 lead. Bulls trailing the Celtics 27-18 in the final seconds, the final possession of that first quarter didn't go the way you would like. All right, the Bulls can make this quarter end, can end with them, but there's an offensive goal tent, so they give them four or five seconds, and here's three players around Walker. You know he's going to hoist one, and he does and gets a three, so the Bulls make a dumb play at the end of the quarter instead of getting the last shot and ending it up right there. Miller, first shot of the second quarter, gets fouled by Eric Williams, his second personal foul, first on the team in the quarter. First quarter stats, John, and Boston 50% from the field. Walker was outstanding, three of four at the uh, arc for Walker and the uh, Celtics. Uh, five of six as a team from three-point land. I should say Walker, three of four from the arc. Miller makes good on his first, he'll have another. Coach Tim Floyd's biggest win in terms of margin of victory came Tuesday night at the outset of this week of games against the Houston Rockets. Miller makes a pair. He's got eight points already here tonight. Six of six at the free throw line. Miller also with six rebounds. Seven point lead Boston, Milt Palacio. But top and go way too out far, of the floor. Too far out of his range. I guess. Greg Anthony running the team. Hassel on the wing. You, you get hung up in that, though, when you see guys come in and fire threes all over the place. And here they are back out again with 10 seconds to go, and they're trying to run the offense. It's going to be a red situation here. You're going to have to get the ball up quick. A little bit late on that pass was uh, Fred Hoiberg trying to get it to Brad Miller. Knocked out of bounds and last touched by the Celtics. It'll belong to the Bulls with four to go on the shot clock. The Celtics defensively read, appear to do a very good job at denying the penetration that the Bulls are looking for. Yeah, well, they don't have uh, an unphysical guy on the floor, uh, an unathlete on the floor. Nice pass if you get it. Oh, no. Steal by Pierce, ahead to Walker. Dishes off to the fill. Palacio missed it, point blank range. Bulls dodge a bullet, now they've got a break. Hassel filling on the drive against Pierce. Nice Spacing body down. control. Threaten Hassel getting down the courts of the Bulls. Turn a good defensive stop into an offensive fast break. Boston's lead down to five. Biggest lead for the Celtics here tonight. Been 11 points, they've led all the way. Pierce with the up fake. Hassel stayed right with him. Made a tough shot out of it. Yes, he did. Chose him right in front. Wouldn't have made him take the step back. And there's another one by Walker now three of five at the arc. He'll keep hoisting. The launcher. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I like that. He'll keep launching. Anthony sets it up. Hassel and Hoiberg on the wings. Miller's in the middle. Oakley down low. Run a little high low now outside offense. Anthony off the mark. Like Rebound Walker. battle looked like Walker on the loose ball yeah, foul. Looked like he came behind Charles Oakley. All right. So it's a foul on Walker. Let's take a look at it. Here is a stop on Palacio. I don't know if both got a little piece of that ball, but they come down. Greg Anthony comes down to court and he gives it to Trenton Hassel on his right side. Watch Trenton go into good body control. Nicely done. Here comes Batie back in. Tony Batie for 
Vitaly Potapenko. The Ukraine train has a seat at the station. Inbounds to Oakley. Here's Greg Anthony. Oak out on the floor for two. Maybe coming off the bench, Oak will find his game offensively a little bit. We'll have to see as time winds on through this month of December. Bulls are back to within three now. Tony Batie with those long arms over Eddie Curry. Hassel slicing into the lane, got bumped in a foul. Fouls on Pierce, it's his second personal. It was a good change that time. We don't see Hassel do that too often. He came down with his right and pushed left with that ball through the hole. Watch this, here he goes. Comes up, goes into the traffic. Had that left arm out a little bit, but uh, he gets the call. And let's see him make some free throws now. He's been a little bit clangy up there. And he makes, this is his first. He'll have another. Bulls fans, here's your chance to enjoy a great time out with lots of friends and see a sold out Wizards game with the world champion Lakers for free. Select your dates, simply purchase a group of 25 or more and you'll receive two free tickets to the Wizards or Lakers. Plan your group outing by calling the Bulls at 312-455-4000. And then we'll see you and your group at the United Center. One out of two for Hassel of the line. So the Bulls are back to within four. Nine and a half now to go in this first half. The runner by Johnson, rejected by Curry, goaltending the call. Johnson gets uh, his seventh point, but not before a spectacular play by Eddie Curry, the young man just out of high school, goes way high to swat it away. But that's the first time we've seen somebody go after a guy going down the middle with yeah. the ball. I agree with you. That's still a positive play. Yep. They scored it for the Celtics, but that's still positive for the Bulls. Hopefully. Over Walker. Curry had to take it away by Kenny Anderson, the sly better. Here's the long lead for Walker. Broken up by Hoiberg, and he ran out of real estate. It'll be Boston basketball. Here is Antoine Walker off to a hot start. Three of four from the arc in the first quarter tonight. The inbounds to Pierce, quick release. And he had to get Paul Pierce going. He was just one for four before that shot. Boston again by eight. Curry trying to clear on the block. Batiste fronting him. Eight to go, now seven on the shot clock for Hassel. Oakley's up high, trying to lob it in to Curry, stolen by Batiste. Antoine Walker posting Oakley. Watch him baseline. Turned baseline for the fall away. Hoiberg is there. Kevin Holly oh. to Trent Hassel, nearly stolen by Pierce, who gambled. Now Hassel tries to make him pay, and, and he does. does. Seven points now for the young rookie at Austin P. Again, continues to impress with his defense, but comes up with some real nice offensive plays, too. He's growing. Interior pass to Johnson, deflected away first by Hoiberg, chased down by the Celtics. Oh, Walker perch to the arc, oh. bring it up. How can nobody be with him on a play like that? Bulls out of position on that loose ball prior to the shot. 12 points by Walker on four field goals. <laughs> yes. Hoiberg in traffic down low. Out of the corner, Kevin Alley. Walker on the run. Now Kenny look, he's Anderson. out at the three-point area. Nobody with him, but... Alley back the other way. Does not have numbers. And he gets contact and nearly made the shot on the runner. Anderson, Anderson picks up the foul as second. Three on the team. Kevin Alley will be at the line when we resume, trying to cut into a nine point Boston lead. You know what? Uh, <laughs> Jeff did get off a good line or two. He said uh, his legacy in the NBA coaching ranks will probably be the fact that he was very bad at breaking up big guy fights. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Alley, one out of two at the line. He also had some car trouble at the plane one day, too. I mean, mm -hmm. Jeff, Jeff, 
he did it all in New York. In 13 years overall in the organization, seven as head coach. I thought he did an outstanding job with the Knicks. One of the better coaches in this league by far, easily. Anderson whirling into the lane. Beautiful move on the scoop. Seven for Kenny Anderson. Boston continues to lead now by 10. Been very difficult, Red, for the Bulls to get any kind of penetration in the half court against the Celtics. So Walker running at Hoiberg there, helping out. You hear Red again. Three to go on the shot clock. Mercer. Walker up high for the rebound. They feel Antoine Walker can be a 20 points a game player. Here's Pierce for three. Paul, oh, I tell you, is this guy, he is something else. His second tray of the ball game. He has five in the second quarter, eight points of the game. The two forwards have five. Yeah. You know, they feel Walker can be a 20 points a game score, 10 rebounds, and eight assists. Hoiberg loses one oh. Celtic then throws it away to another. Eric Strickland who just checked in behind the back Anderson who lost the handle on it. Has to chase it down and the Celtics will have to set up in the half court. Anderson looking to penetrate. Petit comes over to deliver a screen. Anderson goes the other way. Now a little screen roll to Petit. Curry on him defensively. Petit falls. Hurt his ankle. Shot well off the mark. He did. Here's Curry. Eddie Curry hustling on down the court. Gets the fast break basket. You're right, Tony Petit turned his ankle. That's a little tender right now. Number four there in the middle of your screen. I think he's got to get a little more offensive minded. Pierce fall away, oh, tough dude. shot. And that is Fred Hoiberg. He is such an unselfish player and he's moving the ball around. He's got to force those guys to play defense on him. Now he's looking to make the play. Freddy got off to a, a very difficult start the first week of the season shooting the basketball. Hoiberg lifts it just inside the arc. Oh, that was a that was shot, shot within his rhythm. Yeah, the clock was running down. Absolutely, and a good shot. Freddy was he was open. Oh. Anderson, oh, high steps into the lane. Wow. He he did give it a hesitation move, and before you know it. Down the lane, and uh, Jamal Tinsley made a shot basket just like that. He coming down to fast break. There was four bulls back, and all of a sudden the door opened. It was like the Red Sea parted. And he walked on the water right down for the layup. Well, I guess he did. Ollie on the drive yeah, and one. Well, you saw him firsthand last night, Red. Jamal Tinsley, a rookie, off to a great start with Indiana. Kenny Anderson has his game back in Boston, high stepping into the lane, and it does open up like the Red Sea for Moses. Yesterday in the second quarter had four for four got the team ignited here. He drives left lays it up around the ring catches the iron and draws a foul watch Kenny Anderson number seven put the bump on him and he picks up his third foul as Ollie gets the basket and will try for a three point play one of the few times red we've seen a Bulls player get to the lane on the drive right. off the dribble. Here's a look at Kevin Ollie. Four-year pro out of UConn. And he's picked it up offensively. Eight of 11 from the floor over the course of the last two games. He's got four points here tonight. Pierce jumped at by Brad Miller. Top and go back in for Boston. Eric Strickland slashing into the lane. Miller retrieves. Holly on the run. Here's Oakwood. Miller the trail, Ali at the arc, and they'll run some offense. Under four minutes to go, first half, Boston leading by 12. Bulls not showing a lot of movement here on this set yet. Ali driving baseline, two to go on the shot clock. Mercer to beat the clock. Nearly did bring that one in. Strickland. Pull up over Mercer. Oakley retrieves the rebound. Bulls basketball still down by 12. Boston's biggest lead has been 15 in this game. And the Celtics back almost every trip red very quickly on, on defense. They don't give you much of an opportunity to break on them. But Topico knocks it away from Miller. Four to go on the shot clock now. Trenton Hassel has to lift for three. And the rebound Strickland. Fire that ball. 
and, and get it down into Brad Miller's hands, and, that, and they both turn it over. Good, good tenacity by Ali. Mercer walks in and missed it point blank range with bodies all over the floor. Milt Palacio. Skip past Pierce. Four, three. Not that time. Back tap three rebound to Mercer. Kevin Alley. Hassel driving on Walker. Oakley gets an open look at the elbow. Mercer fries it loose. Miller inside, as you suggested. Yes, sir. Miller with 10 now. He breaks the double figure barrier. Bulls back to within 10. And the Celtics want to talk it over. 220 left to go in this first half. Inside points have been precious few for the Bulls. Good look by Mercer. Nice move by Miller. Superstation. Tony Kuko should be back in town. He will. Strickland net for three, and the Celtics continue to live and make a good living at the arc here tonight. You sag back on them at all. They don't care who it is. All of their guys will take a shot at that three. They're 8 of 11 from the arc. Time winding down, first half. Hassel deals baseline. Palacio pushed him, and a foul is on Milt Palacio, his first. Jim O'Brien trying to get the Celtics into the playoffs. It's been six long years since Boston made the NBA playoffs. It's been a decade since this 16-time NBA champion has won a playoff series. It tells you how tough it is to rebuild. Trenton Hassel completes the first, and he'll have another. Well, this second-round draft choice has been a real find for the Bulls. Yes, yes. Hassel now with nine points in his first half. Done a good job defensively, as always. You've said this many times, Red. You can always bring your defense. Your defense shows up every night. Sometimes your offense doesn't show up. But Top and Co gets a reprieve inside. Missed two at point-blank range. Oakley finally clears for the Bulls. Celtics by 11. Miller going back to all. Nice denial that time by Strickland. Played it like the bet he is. Palacio. And an open look off the baseline. His first from the field. Jim O'Brien's crew is up by 13. See how well the, the veteran team runs to open spots on fast breaks. They don't all gather around, run, uh, fill the lanes. They, they they flare out. They go behind the... Mercer off a screen, screen. by Oakley. Yep. Strickland on the run. Celtics spread the floor. Ali tips it up into the air. Palacio able to retrieve. Under a minute to go in this first half. Palacio sets the floor. Ten to go on the shot clock for Boston. Strickland. Palacio defended by Ali. Three to go. Johnson the runner. Wow. Joe Johnson now with nine points. Talk about good looking rookies. He is also a good looking rookie. Ali with the pull up. Ring that just inside the arm. So now you got a differential here of what, just about four, five seconds, four or five seconds. We'll see how the Celtics play it down here. They're going to wait as long as they can. Ten to go on the shot clock now. Shot clock's left side of your screen. Palacio gets a nice screen on the drive. Got to the hoop. Didn't finish, but did get fouled. Now that play started, Wayne, way past the three-point line with the man setting the screen, and it ends up with the guy dribbling the ball through no traffic. Look at this. Through no traffic, down the lane, up he goes, and then finally a reach over the top foul by Brad Miller. Yeah, that's a good point, Red. And is part of that the reason? Because as you mentioned a few moments ago, any of these Celtics are dangerous at the arc, and their sure. presence on the wings spreading the floor spreads the defense, right? Right, absolutely. Hey, fans, you can become part of the Bulls team by joining the Bulls fan club presented by McDonald's. Call the Bulls, 312-455-4000 for more information or visit Bulls.com. Celtics are not taking advantage of their free throw opportunities here tonight. Hassel to Ali. Trying to beat the clock. Oaks out of the corner for three. No. That would have been too good to be true. Well, 
the two guys who usually lead this team offensively are doing it tonight. They've combined for 22 of Boston's 52 points. Halftime at the United Center in Chicago. It's the Boston Celtics 52, the Chicago Bulls 39. Halftime activities are just ahead on WGN as you get a look at the schedule. Bulls pick it up offensively as we begin the third quarter. Greg Anthony, Trenton Hassel, Ron Mercer, and then Pfizer and Miller up front. Ball knocked away from Hassel, and the Celtics with that uh, forced turnover. Bring it back the other way. Pierce looking to penetrate and is stripped away by Hassel. Nice play by Trenton Hassel. Pfizer picks up. Anthony on the run. The pull up over Batte is left short. Miller trying to dig it out. Going to belong to Boston. Bulls uh, again with Greg Anthony at the point, picking up Kenny Anderson. Anderson, Walker, Pierce, Batie, and Joe Johnson on the floor for the Boston Celtics. This is Joe Johnson, the rookie. Miller's Good position ninth by rebound. Miller. Yeah, he's. He's a guy that's done a little bit of a job here for him. Ten points he gets. Pfizer running the floor gets fouled on the drive. That's a good start uh, for Pfizer right now. He was 0 for 5 in that first half. Uh, he got to start his second game in a row, and uh, now he'll shoot two free throws. Marcus Pfizer was fouled by Joe Johnson. So Marcus 0 for 5 from the field in the first half, just one point on one of two shooting at the line. This is his first 11 other as we mentioned before he's been scoring consistently well of late. This is his second consecutive start. He started last night at Indiana. Missed his second missed them both. Celtics set it up offensively, still leading 52-39, a slow start to this third quarter. Pierce off the screen, screen roll to Tony Batee. Johnson banging away at it, loose ball foul coming up on Mercer. This is his second personal, first on the team in the third quarter. Mercer plays well usually against his old team. Tonight, two for eight. He's really struggled 40% in the field. And he's your guy's going to take most of your shots. Pierce from the outside. Mercer the rebound. I still like the way Trenton Hassel is playing Pierce. Pierce has played pretty good. but Miller was fouled on the way to the bucket. Foul is on Paul Pierce. His third. Right, I think you're right. I mean, watch uh, Pierce trying to pick up Miller here. Called for the foul, his third. Nothing has come easy for Pierce in this ball game here tonight. But for the Bulls, very little has come going at the basket. You know what I mean? Everything's been perimeter oriented, as you mentioned. Hassel trying to slash in there. But T came over to help. Now Miller. Hassel jumps it from the outside. It's five to go on the shot clock. Pfizer trying to keep it alive. Working hard. Can't clear. Boston does. Kenny Anderson. Walker for three. Wow, has he been hot from there tonight? Well, he has five baskets, but guess what? They're all triples. <laughs> <laughs> He's got 15 in the game. That's as many as you can get. If you play with the minimum of shots. Yeah, indeed. Antoine Walker, five of seven of the arc. Pfizer. Mercer. Anthony for three to answer. He does ring it up. He's got the two threes that the Bulls have come up with tonight. He's got eight points. The Bulls are two of eight from the arc as a team. 55-42 Boston on top. Biggest lead for the Celtics has been 16 points. Walker. Picked up by Pfizer. Trying to take with some quickness across the lane. Loose ball foul on Batine. His second personal, second on the team. Here's the lead from Miller. Oh. Can't handle it. He had him pinned underneath. He couldn't catch the ball. 
Walker, late delivery to Batie, lost the handle on it, and it's going to belong to Chicago. Last touch by Joe Johnson. Yeah, I thought Mercer got away with a foul down low on Batie. I did, too. I did, too. Eleven turnovers for the Bulls here. A little over three minutes gone by, third quarter. Pfizer looking for Miller, who's frustrated inside. He can't get open. Five to go on the shot clock. This is Hassel. Medium range jumper right on the money. He's got 11. Eight and a half to go, third quarter. Bulls are back to within 11. Anderson sets it up for the Celtics. Walker clears. Pierce against Hassel. Help came from Anthony. He commits the foul. Second of Greg Anthony, second of the team. Meanwhile, Pierce to the free throw line. Pierce with 10 points at 26 against Phoenix last night. 7 of 10 to the free throw line at the Fleet Center. I think he's the leading scorer in the league, isn't he? Now, go ahead. Hey, Harry Potter fans, on December 22nd, when the Bulls host the Timberwolves, while supplies last, all fans ages 14 and under receive one of the holiday's hottest gifts, a Harry Potter sorting hat Lego set. Compliments of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois. For tickets, 1-800-4-NBA-TICKS or visit Bulls.com. 57-44 the score. Boston with the lead. Bulls have the ball. Anthony looking to drive the pull up. Miller the rebound. Gets fouled on, on the way back to the basket. <laughs> Brad Miller, you've heard of a guy deceptively quick. He's deceptively slow. <laughs> he gets the ball. He looks like he's going to go up for it. Everybody's up in the air. They come down. It's like the old Globetrotters, the ball on the string. Watch this when Brad gets the ball. Now watch. Whoop, everybody up and then he goes up. <laughs> but he's effective with what he does. Was a post-up player coming out of Purdue. Wasn't drafted. Went to Italy. Played there for a while. And he comes back. Worked hard on his game this summer. Came in last year when he signed a big contract. Was a little overweight. And then he comes in and he, he works hard. He, he, he works uh, down, posting down low, and it's paid off for Brad. He's recorded his fifth double-double of the season with 11 points and 10 rebounds at this point. And as I mentioned, he had been struggling recently before going four for eight from the field last night. Makes a pair at the line. He has 12 points. And he was struggling from the free throw line, too. He started out and only shooting 69% coming in the game tonight. Anderson, the top and go into the ball game for the Celtics. Now Anderson trying to penetrate into the lane. Anthony took it away to Miller. And back to Anthony on the drive. Pfizer spots up. Line drive right on the money. Nothing but the bottom of the net. His first from the field. He's got three points in the game. Well, the Bulls are back to within that nine. Pierce elevates. Picked off the floor by Anthony. Bulls a chance to get back to within seven. Mercer. Tough night for him from the field. Two for nine. The top of coat running the floor. The pass denied by Mercer. Knocked out of bounds and last touch by the Bulls. It'll belong to Boston. There is the Ukraine train, Vitaly Potapenko. Began his NBA career with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Milt Palacio comes in the lineup. Oh, the inbounds to Potapenko. That shouldn't happen, Red. And the Bulls have to foul him in the person of Marcus Pfizer. That's when uh, Zaruna Zilgakis was on that team in Cleveland along with this guy, and they called him. V and Z. Yep. <laughs> you look at our old buddy Joe Taylor. Yep. The uh, voice of the Cavaliers used to call him Z and V. You're right. Since they let Potapenko go to the Celtics, though, Z hasn't been healthy in Cleveland, and that's been a big part of the problem. He's had all kinds of foot injuries. Pause for station identification. This is WGN Superstation. Wayne Larrabee, Red Kerr, Dan Rowan at the United Center. Potapenko second free throw. Anthony on the runway. Pfizer tips it to Potapenko. Boston resumes offensively. Walker. Williams open. 
around Miller. Jumps into the lane. Left it short, but got fouled. Greg Anthony, very frustrated. Now, when the ball came cross court, they had to cover uh, Walker, but it comes over to Williams. You don't dive at him. He's a three-point shooter, but he can't make him. He's two, only made two all year. You challenge him, now he drives in, and he's better going to the basket, but he's... Makes his first at the free throw line. He missed his first three. He's made his last two at the foul line. Boston leading by 10. Celtics trying for their seventh win in a row. Last time they won seven straight was 1994. 11-point lead, Boston. Pfizer rambling, scooping, no. Celtics back the other way. They've done a good job of taking care of their defensive board. This is a much better defensive team than the Celtics have had in recent years. Walker from three, and again it's good. <laughs> he can't make anything but threes tonight. He's got 18 points. Uh, six shots, six baskets. Mercer trying to get around Williams. Anthony at the arc. They're running at him with Pierce. Bring them for Greg Anthony. His third three tonight. He's got 11 points in the game. Anthony now double figures in five straight, making four straight games. Knocked away by Pfizer. Anthony on the run. In on Palacio. And he draws the foul. Milt Palacio's second personal, fourth on the team. To the foul line we go when we return to the United Center. Bulls have outscored the Celtics 12 to 9 here in this third quarter, but again, Boston with the big shots by Antoine Walker, maintaining the advantage. As Greg Anthony makes good on his first to the line, he's played a good ball game here tonight. The lefty with the second one, 13 for Anthony. Under six minutes to go, third quarter. Boston's lead down to nine. Jump Double ball. team here, and jump ball with Pfizer now as as Anthony drove him to his right. Pfizer surprised Palacio, and let's see now. The Bulls should have the advantage on this jump ball. Will they not only get it but control it? Palacio six three, Pfizer six nine. Hugh Hollins will toss it up. Anthony bumped off, nearly bumped off the uh, play. Able to retrieve now. Mercer to Anthony. Bulls trying to get something going off the screen. We've got Hassel to the wing. Tend to go on the shot clock. Anthony. Pfizer. Rebound batted. Pfizer comes up with it. Jumping on the drive, oh. left it short, Miller is there. Tough shot inside. <laughs> Red Miller with 14. Another rebound there as Pfizer blowing to the basket twice here is able to miss shots. Bulls working hard here, John, especially on their offensive glass. And they're back to within seven now. 7-0 seven run by Chicago. Out of the corner, Palacio. Rebound back tap to Hassel. Anthony on the run. Bumped by Pierce now. Fourth foul on Pierce. Take a look at the previous possession here that the Bulls had. The shot goes up. The rebound comes down by Pfizer. Watch him come through here, but put it up off the bottom of the rim. There's not enough oomph. And then Miller gets it. A little fake up in the traffic. Knocks it in. Nice job. And now Anthony. Two more free throws. He's done a great job here. He's got eight points in his quarter, going for 10. And the Bulls closing this back up a little bit. 14 points now for the former Nick. And John, the uh, Celtics over the foul limit here with almost five minutes yep. left in his quarter. The top and coat latches on to the rebound. One out of two at the line for Greg Anthony. Has 14 points of the game. The only two baskets they've got in this quarter are Antoine Walker's three-point field goal. Williams looking to drive on Hassel. Hassel so sound defensively. Yep, yep. I'll tell you what, John. He had, you could just 
cut up the tape and take a look at Trenton Hassel. Always in the right spot defensively. There's got to be an illegal defense now. Nobody. Okay. Potapenko is the floater in this defensive scheme. Mercer from the corner. Boy, oh, right if they could get Ron Mercer on track. He's got to get on track here now. The Bulls only down by four. And a steal by Anthony. 10-0 run by Chicago. It will belong to Boston here. With 20 to go on the shot clock. Strickland coming in. And he's going to get Palacio, I believe, a break. Timeout taken by Boston. The Celtics have allowed a 16-point lead to slip down to four. 4.04 to go third quarter. Antoine Walker's been the only man doing it in the third quarter for the Celtics. They're only two for 10 for 20 percent. They have four turnovers. The Bulls defense have got them back in great play by Greg and Anthony this quarter. As Club slows it down. Here's Williams against Mercer. Help came from Anthony, and when they force a turnover, no foul on foul. Greg Anthony. That's his fourth. That should put them to the line. It does. It? Puts the Bulls over the limit. Celtics to the line. From the field, and the Bulls almost 50% Celtics at 20%. Eric Williams back at the free throw line. Makes good on the first. Bulls fans, tickets for every Chicago Bulls home game are on sale at the United Center. Ticketmaster outlets online at Bulls.com or by calling 1-800-4-NBA-TICKS. One out of two at the line for Williams. Rebound, Pfizer, and the Bulls can feel it. They're right back in this game. Trailing by five. Pfizer. Mercer. Not that time. Trying to get Ron Mercer on track here in the second half. Walker into the lane. Blocked. Blocked by Miller. Kevin Alley. Perched at the arc for three. No. Nope. Strickland back the other way on the run for Boston. Bulls hustle back defensively. Walker over Pfizer for three. Ring it up. My goodness. Only three baskets in his quarter, and they're all threes by this young man. And he can't miss from out there, Red. My goodness. Must be closing in on a record. He's tied to record. He's tied the record here in the United Center. Center. Seven three-point field goals. Miller operating baseline to the reverse. Bottom of the basket. Miller able to clear. Holly on the drive. Yeah. Good stretching by Fred Hoiberg and Brad Miller. Gets it out here. Fred Miller is the guy who dug it out of there, John. And Hoiberg able to get it over to Kevin Holly, who converts on the drive. I think that foul was on Strickland, was yep. it? Strickland's first personal. So Kevin Ollie goes to the line. He had six points in that uh, second quarter. He comes up here with. So the guards have done pretty well. 14 by Anthony and eight by Kevin Ollie. Six points in the second quarter gave the Bulls a nice lift off their bench in the backcourt. He now has nine in the game. And the Bulls back to within five. 2.40 to go, third quarter. Strickland. Bumping with Hoiberg. Left it short. Miller controls the rebound and good position on Tony Batine. Holly's on the run. Well, let's see if the Bulls can get back to within three or even closer on this trip. Holly on the drive. The floater. Not that time. Saved by Brad Miller. What a job he's doing on the offensive boards here in this third quarter. Pfizer going to reverse. Collision and foul. Well, he did the smart thing. He's not hitting the outside jumper, so he takes it hard to the basket, draws the foul on Eric Williams, his third. And you go to the line to shoot two free throws. Brad Miller, look how hard he's working here on this offensive board. Yeah, there's the missed shot. Brad's going out of bounds, grabs it, throws it back, saves the ball. And here it is. There's a fake. And he goes around the tee, and then comes in, and Miller commits the foul. Or uh, Williams. Uh, Williams. Yep. Marcus Pfizer at the free throw line. Three points here tonight. 14 rebounds for Brad Miller. Pretty good night. 
Double double for Miller as we mentioned he had that in the first half. Pfizer makes the first it's a four point ball game he can cut it down to three here. Celtics have led by as many as 16 points the Bulls have never led in this game. And Red, I remember what Mercer was able to do here at the United Center against Miami with a hot fourth quarter if they can get him on track but Mercer so far in the ball game just three for 12. Little backcourt presence defensively by the Bulls as Walker advances for Boston. Two minutes to go in the third. We know the Bulls play well here uh, at the United Center. Anderson. We don't need all that coverage on uh, Williams. Williams with time winding down to the shot clock. Left it mean. short. We don't need all that double coverage on him. Hoiberg. Oh, had it in rhythm if he wanted it. A three-point shot there and did not take it. Thought it was a little quick, and that's yep. what Freddie does. I mean, he's a very savvy ball player. And you know what, Red? It would have been a little quick in that situation. Pfizer over the top. Yes, sir. His second basket. He's got seven in the game, and he brings the Bulls who are just down by one. 66-65, Boston. Bulls have roared back here in the third quarter. Walker on the drive. His first two-point field goal, he's got 23. The Celtics have just four field goals in this third quarter, all by Antoine right, Walker. Right. Under a minute to go, third quarter. Ollie whirling into the lane. He got bumped, I believe, by Anderson that time, who just checked back in for Boston. Kenny Anderson picks it up. It's his fourth personal. Pfizer, a little fake, a little fake, a little step back, and then the jumper over Walker and knocks it down. Kevin Alley made good on his first. He draws in the double figures. Two point ball game. He can make it a one point game. Antoine Walker, if you're wondering, one of six from inside the arc, seven for ten from the outside. <laughs> The 11 for Kevin Alley. It's a one-point ball game. Technical foul on their bench. We're going to tie this game up if Freddie Hoiberg can knock the free throw down. <laughs> Kenny Anderson, who picked up his fourth foul, mouthed off a little bit to Scott Wall. We saw a technical in the first half as the Bulls were down and by you, Phil Johnson. You, well, you saw the familiar face of Randy Brown sitting next to Kenny Anderson. Hoiberg's there he is, first right there. Point, and that ties it up. So the Bulls have caught the Celtics red. They have erased a 16 point deficit in this game. Palacio moves it across. Picked up by Kevin Ollie. Gets a screen from Tony Batin. Walker trying to clear on the block. Pfizer with good position defensively. Oh, oh but inside they forgot about Palacio. Yes, they did. Boston by two. Kevin Alley. Nobody comes for the high screen. Mercer wanted to go to Pfizer. Pretty well covered on the block by Walker, who's working hard on the defensive end tonight. Mercer able to clear and hit. Mercer with eight now. Maybe beginning to heat up a little bit here. Six seconds, five Time seconds. Winding down. Palacio into the lane. The Freddie play. Hover. Hover. Beautifully done. Freddie, not the biggest man out there, but he saves a goal. Bulls are going to walk off in the third quarter. Tied so off in the third quarter has been disastrous for Tim Floyd and the Bulls, but not here tonight. They have charged right back in it at the end of three. We're tied at 70 apiece. We're here. Good catch inside Antoine Walker. Technical foul. And the flush. Technical foul on the flush. He went up, hammered it, hung on the rim, slapped the backboard, didn't have to. He was all alone. And Scott Wall says, you can't do that. That's showboating. And that's what this league is not built on. Believe me, huh? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah. So Fred Hoiberg gets one of the two points back. Wait, Jim O'Brien says, what? He did what? <laughs> oh, this league hates to see showboats. <laughs> yeah. Watch this. Technical. On me? Yeah. <laughs> That was a ticky-tack technical, but we'll take it. Boston by one. 
Here's his own. They're in the zone now. Ollie. Petit the rebound, getting up high. Strickland. Joe Johnson, before the double team could get to him, left, left it short. Hoiberg, good piece of defense there. Hoiberg to Miller, right back to Freddie. Four, three. Oh, oh, man. I thought that one was going to be rung up. Hoiberg's numbers from the arc don't look good this season, but he got off to a terrible start from there. Strickland. Strickland actually initiated the contact when he went down there. On that shot. Evan Alley. Well, Wolves can take the lead here. Hoiberg shovels it to Mercer. Picked up by Strickland. Pretty good defender. Jumped out by Walker. Freddie, you got to look for it. You got to look at it if it's there, Fred. 4 3 behind a screen by Oakland. You still have to look for it and fire it up. Shooters got to keep hammering it. Don't worry about the percentage if you have a good shot. Batie. Six for Tony Batie. I think what we're saying on Freddie is that, you know, we're not asking him to force anything. Right. But when that shot is there, like you said, you've got to pull the trigger. He's a good shooter. Bulls slip behind by three. On the weave, Mercer. Mishandled for a moment. Strickland right with him defensively. Three to go on the shot clock. Miller has to beat the clock. Gets and it off does. just in time. And does with a line drive mm -hmm. shot. 16 for Miller. He brings the Bulls back to one. 74 73. Coming up on nine and a half to go. Fourth quarter. Great to have you with us tonight from the United Center. Walker three. Maybe he's run out of threes out there. Huh? <laughs> he's got to be getting tired. He I played think a lot of minutes. He's, he's got his quota and then some, doesn't he? Well, he played 34 minutes. Uh, We're going to have to get the Trey Warden out. You know what I mean? <laughs> Check that quota. Miller. Oh, nice move there. Had the two up in the oh, air. I thought he was going to go with three seconds. Mercer. Walker the rebound. Shovels for Palacio. Boston on the move. Bulls trailing by just one. Walker. Down low, but T. Help coming from Kevin Alley. Well, they've been able to stop him now. He Bulls have not been able to take that. Miller. Oh. Yeah, he got up to the air with nowhere to go with it. Hoiberg trying to get it back from Walker. Strickland. Oh, beautiful move by Strickland. Wow. Five for Eric Strickland. And again, the Bulls trailing by three. Fourth quarter. This is when both teams will have to reach back. The Bulls. This is their fourth game of the week. Miller down yes. low. Yes. Took the bump when I laid it in. 18 points for Brad Miller, and he's had good distribution in all the quarters. He's, he's done a great job. He's got, what, 15 rebounds? Yep, 15 rebounds. 8 of 8 at the free throw line. Walker against Oakland. That's one Walker having a strong game. 27 points for him. While Paul Pierce, Red, has been very quiet. 11 uh, points, 10 of which came in the first half. He's been in foul trouble as well. Well, yeah, he's been sitting down for quite a bit. And he's going to come back with fresh legs into this game. As I mentioned at the outset of the telecast tonight, both teams played last night and traveled. Miller on the drive gets fouled on the way to the bucket. But he picks that foul up. That's his third. And we come back from his timeout. Brad Miller will be rested enough to shoot two free throws. Timeout Chicago Bulls hanging in with one of the hottest clubs in the NBA. It's a three-point Boston lead. 97 a game. The Bulls 75 points and they score 82 a game. 15 yep. difference between these two. So the Bulls with a lot of points on the quarter on, on the board here. And Red, they played very well in that third period of play to get themselves back into the ball game. 
After trailing at halftime, 52-39, the Bulls caught the Celtics at 70 apiece after three quarters. Miller puts in on a pair. He's got 20 points. His career high for rebounds is 16. He has 15 rebounds tonight. This is his most solid game in a while. Pass to Williams, hard to handle. Williams manufactures a shot. Miller the rebound. Done. Bulls were all over that play defensively. Celtics had nothing going. Skip pass, Hoiberg. Tried to go inside of Miller, knocked away. Oh! Steal by Anthony. <laughs> Recaptured by Strickland. Palacio trying to finish and does. Six for Palacio. A little half court action back and forth as they turn it over. Bulls 13 turnovers. Celtics have eight here tonight. Hoiberg. The Bulls are in dangerous water here with this high scoring. Here comes Strickland barreling down the lane. And the rebound, Charles Oakley. Bulls dodge a bullet there. Anthony backing out of there. To Miller. Guarded by Walker. Walker reaches it away. Oh, no, he's got a technical foul on here on uh, Palacio. Stepping in the lane, not guarding anybody. Yeah, so of, we get to put another point. Freddie Hoiberg has hit two technical free throws here tonight. Miller sits down, gets a beautiful hand. Here comes Trent Paul Hansel Pierce. is uh, in. Yeah. The Bulls have gone to a smaller lineup here. Pfizer in for Miller now. Hoiberg's third technical free throw of the night. So the Bulls with uh, Anthony Hoiberg. Hassel, Oakley, and Pfizer on the floor against the Celtics. With Connor with Walker, Pierce, Patapenko, Williams, and Palacio. Ten to go on the shot clock for the Bulls. Anthony. Down to three to go. Tough shot over Palacio. Left it short. Ball Pierce the rebound. Bulls trailing by two. Almost halfway through the fourth quarter. Williams slashing into the lane. Fouled by Hoiberg. First on Freddie. It's the first on the team in the fourth quarter. And again, right as I mentioned, these final six minutes of this game, that's when both teams playing on the second leg of a back-to-back -back have to dig a little bit deeper. Yes, sir. The shots become tougher to make. Well, they rested Pierce pretty good. Even though he had the fouls, they, they got him. Some good time on the bench. And, and Red, he has been, not Antoine Walker, but Paul Pierce has been the finisher for the Boston Celtics in their games. Walker got the game tied to regulation last night. Pierce finished it with a strong overtime performance. Celtics by four. Ten free throws now shot in the game by Williams. He takes it to the basket. Here's Pfizer. Blocked by Potomico. Pfizer gets it back. Seven to go on the shot clock. Skip pass. Hassel for three. Pfizer gets yeah. the clock. I don't know. Does he get an assist on that? <laughs> That's all that uh, Hassel was trying to do is to beat the clock. 82-80. Celtics by just two. A chant of defense from the United Center crowd. That's a drive. Williams whirling to Freddy the lane, stripped by Hoiberg, up for grabs, dug out of there by the top and go, missed the shot. Oakley, Anthony, five yes, yeah. he attacked the basket, went with the left hand, tied it up again at 82. 11 points now for Pfizer, he hit, reaches double figures. Thumbs up for the Celtics on this particular possession. Tied at 82, under five minutes to go in the game. Walker. Oakley, good position on the rebound. Bulls can take the lead on this trip. It would be their first lead of the night. Hoiberg clears. Offensive foul. Oh. And he nails the shot, and Pfizer knocks him down. Tough break there for the Bulls. Greg Anthony on the push. Marcus Pfizer the finish moments ago. Bulls and Celtics tied with four and a half to go.
36% inside the arc, 65% outside. They're even better at the three-point line than they are at the free throw line here tonight <laughs> for the Celtics. So some strange numbers there. Boston and Chicago tied at 82. Good to have you with us tonight on a very entertaining Saturday night of NBA. Pierce for three. Long rebound, Anthony. Oh, Let's see where it was. One no. glass too hard. Patanico knocked it out of bounds. It'll belong to Chicago. Anthony had it. It spun off his head. He lost where it went. So, again, the Bulls with a chance to take the lead here. Pretty good second half for the Bulls. Anthony, Mercer, Hassel, Oakley, and Pfizer on the floor for Chicago. Under four minutes to go for the game. Bulls seek their first lead of the night. Pfizer, no, but he'll go to the line. What do we have? Foul. Offensive foul. They called him on a push, apparently. Step out. No, there's no foul. They no, must he just have stepped out of bounds. Or they, yeah. call, they call him for traveling? Wow. <laughs> You don't see that call very often in the NBA, do you? Who made Especially that in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. Who made that call? It was Hollins. Pierce. Help comes from Anthony and tips it away. Walker can't handle it. Pass out to Mercer. On the drive. Follow Anthony. No! Well, they missed two of them. Mercer's missed several going hard to the hoop there. Antoine Walker, tough shot. Didn't have to take it. El Tempo is up here now. Pfizer on the drive. Blocked by there, Pierce. There go. Now the Bulls have a chance to take the lead. Pfizer went hard to the basket. And it's on uh, Paul, Pierce. It? Paul Pierce's Paul Pierce. Four, Pierce. Uh, fifth. It's fifth. Second on the team here in the fourth quarter. Got a little ragged that time. Uh, tough shot on this end by Antoine Walker, and they captured the ball, went down the other end. And Pfizer, who was coming out strong, he only had one free throw in the first. There it is. In the first period. You're right, he has come out strong here in the second half. He was 0 for 5 from the field. First lead of the night for the Bulls. Harry Potter fans on December 22nd. When the Bulls host the Timberwolves, while supplies last, all fans 14 and under receive one of the holiday's hottest gifts, a Harry Potter sorting hat Lego set. Compliments of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois. For tickets, call 1-800-4-NBA-TICKS or visit Bulls.com. Time out on the floor. We'll be back. This guy has been all work to the Boston Celtics. Well, the Bulls are shooting 28% in this quarter. They're shooting 31. But the Bulls have outscored them 13 to 12. And Pfizer to the free throw line. Second for Pfizer. He made his first to give the Bulls their lead. And he makes the second 13 for Pfizer. Paul Pierce came in tonight averaging 27.5 points a game, leading the NBA. Just 12 points here tonight. He only had 16 points when these teams met back in November. Boston now at the perimeter. Williams trying to force the issue. Do we get a block on Pfizer? Yes, yes you do. Indeed. Pfizer picks up foul number three. That's only the second team foul. 256 left, so they'll take it out of bounds. Strickland on the inbounds. Williams. Here's Pierce. Steps away. Rebound kept alive by Williams. Saves it to Pierce. Walker. A good dish inside. Oh. Williams got clobbered. He'll go to the line. He's got to be the star of the game outside of this uh, of Walker making all the baskets. He's been to the line ten times tonight. He makes a miracle basket. It seems like every time the Bulls play somebody, somebody makes one. And here's Walker with the pass underneath. He spins, goes up, knocks it down, wow. and will shoot free throws. You know, it's hard to shoot the basketball when you're, you've been bumped down like that. Yeah. He was coming down. He still got it up and in. Missed the free throw. Oakley secures the board. Tied at 84. Time left in the right-hand corner of your screen. Near mishandle here on the perimeter for the Bulls. Anthony. Tough shot. Pierce the rebound. Tied up by Anthony. No foul. 
Strickland. Walker against Oakley. Muscles it up. Oakley clears. Oakley Bad with 10 rebounds. By Walker. 10 rebounds off the bench. You know, Hanson was telling us at halftime, but that's the way he shoots those. Yeah. He, he doesn't get them up to the rim. Nope. Guys block him with the elbows. Pfizer. Oh, offensive foul. Pfizer bangs into him. A nice play by Williams, and that's his fourth foul. Timeout taken by the Bulls. Williams slow to get up. Watch this. I don't think this was a flop. Nope. That was not a flop. No, they're not taking a timeout. So I thought they were. Yeah, they? I thought they were too from what the official, the way the official signal. Yeah. I guess he was just saying Boston put it in play. All right, we're less than two minutes here with a tie. And their offensive foul on Williams. They come down the other end. And he commits the foul. Illegal screen. He has done everything right tonight until this time of the game. 142. The Bulls a chance again to take the lead. Tied at 84. Jim O'Brien shakes his head off over that call. Bulls get it back. Hassel. Here's Mercer guarded by Strickland. Good defender. Anthony picked up by Palacio. It could be a technical on Pierce. He's not in the lane. Williams knocked it out of there. Pierce has, has been jogging back and forth in that lane and pretty close to being called for a technical foul. Now he's over talking to Hugh Hollins about it. Pfizer and Miller have 12 of the 14 Bulls points here in the fourth quarter. Miller at the moment on the bench. The inbounds to Mercer. Mercer turns with a jumper. Right on the money. He hit his back to the basket. That was a 180. Jump shot, and he's got 10, and the Bulls have the lead. By two, 86 84. Inside a minute 30 to go. Palacio. Pierce gets baseline. Blocked by Pfizer, I believe. Pfizer and Hassel were Take there. Take it easy. Take it easy now. Take it easy. Pfizer shovel Hassel. No, he you, gets it up you, to Pierce. You bring it out and set it up and take your time. And Tim was saying we wanted to talk that over. They're going to take a timeout and talk it over. Under a minute to go in a frantic finish to this one. The Chicago Bulls own an 86-84 lead over the Celtics. Inside of 50 seconds to go for the game. Back at the United Center in Chicago, Paul Pierce 0 for 5 in the second half. Watch the defense here. Looks like Pfizer got a piece of that. Hassel was also there. And it's been a rough night for Paul Pierce, who came in leading the league at 27.5 points a game. All right, they're going to go to Walker or Pierce on this place. And remember, from the outside, you got Strickland and Palacio who can shoot. In this six-game winning streak by Boston, they've won two of their games in overtime, including last night against Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah. Inside a minute. Oakley right on Pierce defensively. Pierce takes him off the dribble. Tough shot. Not that time. Walker. Put back. No. Tip now by Williams. Williams gets it back. They cannot finish. Fires the rebound. All right, hang on, Bulls. They got a foul. Oh, Pfizer with a deadly block of Walker. Hang on, that ball. Move it, guys. Move it. Three-second difference. Shot clock game clock. Make it a four-second difference. And a foul coming up on Strickland. Four-second margin. Shot clock to game clock. Yeah, but that's not in the penalty. They had one to take. They did. Bulls, that's why the Bulls wanted to move the ball, move it. Don't let them catch up. Let that clock tick down. So let's see what happens here now. They've got to foul immediately when the ball comes in. So get your good free throw shooter within his hand. The inbounds, Anthony. Bring it out. To That's Pfizer. it. Okay, hang on to it, guys. There Mercer is. fouled by Walker. What a job they did. Walker screaming at Hugh Hollins. We're trying to foul him. We're trying to foul him. Call the foul. We wanted to do it earlier. And to the free throw line. 7.2 seconds remaining. And Ron Mercer can maybe put this on ice. He hasn't been to the line all Ron night. The line. For the season, 66% from the free throw line. 
much better in his career and he misses the first he has struggled this season at the line is my point that's why I didn't realize why did he wrap it up under his arm instead of keep moving the ball out Mercer makes it a three-point game 7.2 seconds to go Bulls by three trying to snap Boston's six game winning streak now what do you do you have a foul to take the Bulls have a foul to take they've got to take it when they bring the ball in not on the shot if they take one dribble you whack them right away before anybody can get a shot off you, you foul them first absolutely they'll try to go they need a three so it'll be any outside and this is what your three-point shooting looks like tonight there it is Walker has been the hot man of the art in the fourth quarter Boston 0 for 3 from the arc 11 of 18 for the game the seven three-point field goals by Antoine Walker has tied the United Center record for number of three-point field goals by a player in a game the Bulls trying to hang on John it has been an up and down week they're out they're out now of the huddle they're waiting there they're, they're pumped up here the Bulls have played well we have said that they've won three and lost four here at home they have not played a lot of games on the road they've lost 11 and some games haven't been close but here the fan support the players seem to be pumped up now you've got to take the foul and take it right away before anybody can get a shot off. maybe even take two you take one and maybe take another one yep. rather than go for the three point. good point work that clock down with the fouls now watch the alley oop to Williams will inbound Walker and Pierce on the floor for Boston they're trying to get Pierce here he is Pierce forces the three short game game set Bulls and the Chicago Bulls have defeated the Boston Celtics.